For this two minute drill, we're gonna take a look at the 2011 Da Vinci Wilson. It's been completely redesigned from the ground up. Most bikes nowadays are built in Taiwan or China, but the Wilson's a little bit unique in that Da Vinci chose to build this frame in-house. One of the key changes for the 2011 Da Vinci Wilson is the inclusion of Dave Eagle's patented split pivot technology. Our Wilson came equipped with a 325 pound spring on the Fox RC4, which is geared more towards a rider of roughly 200 pounds. The Wilson offers 8.5 inches of travel in a low leverage package. Toward the end of its travel, the Wilson definitely has a little bit of progressivity built into it. The rear axle system on the Da Vinci Wilson features a two position setup. Essentially, you can flip flop the chips for two different geometry settings. These two geometry settings allow you to adjust the wheelbase, bottom bracket height, chain stay length, as well as the head angle. They've utilized a tapered head tube that features a ZS56 bottom cup and a ZS44 top cup. Moving backwards towards the crank area, Da Vinci utilizes a 83mm bottom bracket shell and for the rear wheel it's a 150 by 12 system. It's not uncommon to see down tube protectors on bikes nowadays and Da Vinci took it a step further with their design. As you can see here, they utilize a robust carbon fiber down tube protector. Uh, basically helps protect the frame from any rocks and dings. For mounting a chain guide device, Da Vinci chose a little bit of a unique setup in that they still utilize an ISC G05 mounting standard, but they have a splined adapter that attaches to the frame. The Wilson's available in three sizes for 2011, and for 2012 they're introducing an extra large as well. As you can see, most all of the major weight components on the bike are centrally located, so the frame feels pretty balanced when you're riding it. For more info on the Wilson, be sure to check out DaVinci.com, and also you can see more info on Sicklines.com.